Researchers developing Ebola vaccination for wild apes. New research into an Ebola vaccination for wild apes has shown promising results. A study saw sedated captive chimpanzees suffered no major health issues after being given an oral Ebola vaccination. Researchers took an Ebola protein and put it into a rabies vaccine commonly used on foxes. Four chimpanzees received a single dose via needle injection, while another half dozen received the vaccine orally. After four weeks, chimpanzees in both groups developed strong immunities, similar to vaccinated macaques that withstood exposure to Ebola in earlier research. Ebola is deadly to humans, apes, and other animals. It's believed to have originated from fruit bats before spreading to other species via the fruit they ate. Wild apes, such as chimpanzees and gorillas, are vulnerable as they share similar diets to the fruit bat. Researchers believe the oral vaccine could protect the wild chimpanzee population, but claim U.S. legislation meant to protect endangered species is stopping the research from going further. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching to find out how Ebola impacted the world after an outbreak in 2014. Ebola kills hundreds in West Africa outbreak. An outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus is continuing to ravage West Africa, with over 600 people now confirmed to have died in three countries. A Sierra Leone Ebola patient whose family helped her escape from a treatment center died over the weekend. Authorities found the patient being treated by a traditional African healer, but the woman died in the ambulance on the return trip to the hospital. The deadly Ebola virus has spread across West Africa with the hemorrhagic fever caused by the disease claiming at least 600 lives. The U.S. charity Samaritan's Purse says two of their volunteer doctors have now also tested positive for Ebola. Misconceptions have led some to believe conspiracy theories and thousands of protesters gathered outside the main Ebola hospital in Sierra Leone over the weekend. Police guarding the hospital fired tear gas and live rounds to disperse the protesters. A young boy was reportedly shot in the leg. The cost of fighting one of the planet's deadliest diseases is putting a serious strain on the region's health systems, while a lack of information and education has led some to avoid treatment. Workers who had direct contact with West Africa Ebola patients are now required to go through quarantine. A nurse who had returned to the U.S. from West Africa after working with Ebola patients was placed under quarantine under a new policy. The new quarantine order that went into effect on Friday required all healthcare workers who had been in direct contact with Ebola patients in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone to enter a 21-day quarantine once they arrive in the U.S through New York Liberty and Kennedy International Airport. Casey Hickox, the nurse who was the first person to be quarantined in Newark under the new policy, described being held for seven hours at the airport, where she was found with a fever on Friday, but tested negative for Ebola on Saturday. Hickox was later escorted by eight police cars to University Hospital in Newark, where she was kept in quarantine in a tent outside the hospital building. The quarantine period of 21 days is the longest recorded period for any infected person to manifest the disease. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. MSF calls Guinea Ebola epidemic unprecedented. The West African state of Guinea is facing an unprecedented Ebola outbreak that has already killed 78 people since January. The Ebola virus is transmitted to humans from wild animals and spreads along humans by close contact. The virus kills between 25 and 90 percent of those infected. The disease has now spread to neighboring Liberia, where the government has advised people to stop shaking hands and kissing to contain the spread of the disease. It has also advised against sexual contact. The Ebola virus is one of a number of viral hemorrhagic diseases found in Africa which include Ebola hemorrhagic fever, Lassa fever, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, and yellow fever. No specific treatment or vaccine is available for use in humans or animals.